The Susanna Kennedy Show on Two Oceans Vibe. It's Kinky Kennedy. The Crazy Caring Cat. Saturdays, 12 until 2. The Susanna Kennedy Show. Hello, Duncan. Welcome to Two Oceans Vibe. Hello, Susanna. Thank you. Pleasure, absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming into the studio. We had you on talking about stem cell therapy recently. I wanted to carry on with that discussion and just speak about the different uses um, for stem cell therapy. Um, it's obviously been linked to cancer, cancer treatments, cancer treatments. Management. I've been doing a little bit of research, but I'm your layman in terms of all kinds of medical You're a words. Um, stem, stem cell therapy for me is very interesting because as we discussed with you last time, a little stem cell hasn't decided what it wants to be yet and it's like a little warrior that goes towards anything that's damaged or um, dead chick at you smiling at no, me. Like it is analogy. like a little no, good. Yeah. warrior that yeah. goes in and finds the damaged or dead tissue and um, starts fixing it. That's basically what it is. So just for a recap for our listeners, that's what it is. And it's been used in many different types of treatment, including brain damage, um, cancer, spinal cord injury, heart damage, um, baldness, I saw as well. Yeah, yeah. Missing teeth. Yeah. Wow. Deafness, blindness, vision impairment, which you've actually done um, a yes. case. Yeah, we have. Which we can chat about. Um, all kinds of things, diabetic, uh, diabetes treatment, yep, yep. Um, wound healing, infertility as well, mm. I saw. Mm. But so these are like little magic things that we're containing in our own bodies that we can actually extract and then do a little something to and put back in and they heal us. What is that little something that we do to them? You see, I like the way you're putting that mm. because it's a little something and we do it and it heals us and it's like a warrior and I think like a puppet man. <laughs> do, you, do you think everybody understands what I was saying? I do. I think you explained it very, very well. <laughs> and and I, I think sometimes that science doesn't understand it a lot more complicatedly than, than you're explaining it. Um, so there's a lot for us to learn. Um, it's It's been, like you said, it's been used in cancer treatments, um, mainly the blood cancer treatments um, um, to help um, those hematopoietic um, blood disorders. Um, but really, we in clinical use um, in our clinic are, are using it on two lines and we're developing with it on two lines and we're feeling our way with it. So there's been definite documented use of how it can rebuild brain tissue, how it can rebuild dead heart tissue once you've had a heart attack, um, and how it can rebuild nerve endings. And there's one case going on right now in South Africa where um, there's a patient who had a spinal cord break. Now when you break your spinal An cord, actual break. A break. Sure. Through, it doesn't regrow. It, it, it just doesn't do it. And uh, they, about one month ago, put their first stem cell transplant onto that break. And within days, the patient was feeling sensation in toes and legs. That within is days. incredible. Yeah. So, so that's a big breakthrough um, as far as South African workers go. Yes. They're now doing a sick, well, they've done a second transplant next week, last week, and I haven't heard what the result is. But that sort of stuff is very exciting. We, we tend to inject intravenously into the bloodstream, which is the traditional, well, traditional, the last five, six years. I mean, it's a really new. It's really new therapy. therapy. But, the but it's, it's as traditional as it can be for a new therapy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the traditional way, and, and, and the, the, the thoughts are that the, it's best to inject the stem cells far away from all you want them to go to, and they get attracted there by little chemical messengers that come out from the organ saying we're in trouble and they automatically, those little warriors as you say, go straight there. Go straight there. You were saying as close to the affected area? Far away. As far, far away. away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you've got something wrong in your brain, yeah. where would you inject it on your body? Into the arm, into the vein of the okay. arm. So, go straight. so you put a drip up on, on the vein of the arm and it would go straight from there into the brain. But having said that, in the UK end of last year, they had a very good case where they had straight into the retina, so into the back of the eye of someone with blindness, sure. they injected stem cells straight into there. And you've just done um, a blindness a blindness patient, patient yeah, which okay. injected into the vein. Into the vein, and okay. We're now watching to see improvement with that. But the one that was injected, the patient that was injected straight into the eye, they had mir not miraculous, but they have 
wonderful results, whereas at one month they got nothing. At two months she felt she couldn't see anything. But then at two and a half months she started to see. Uh, I mean she was seeing you know, maybe 20% um, beforehand, but the blurring started to improve. But what they were explaining was that those stem cells did the initial work, but that initial work um, would then, those stem cells would die away very quickly. Okay. And new stem cells would be stimulated in the area. So the original stem cells they injected weren't actually doing all the work. They stimulated the body to stimulate To, stem to cells. recreate more, yeah. to grow yeah. more, but yeah. within the affected yeah, area. That's right. Okay, so it's not the original stem cells necessarily that do the fixing. Yeah. They're, but they promote the growth of new ones that can do the that fixing. Was the feeling, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, and and the, the blindness, um, what was it? Was it natural? Was it an, like, was she just old? or was it a disease-based illness do you sure. know the UK okay. case I'm not sure yeah. and with this case that you've been working on um, the patient had um, a motor vehicle injury 20 years ago yes um, and tragically then had to end his career that was just flourishing and had been working elsewhere since and is looking for ways now to rebuild those neuronal pathways um, so that he can see and restart that career again Wow, it's amazing. So you're obviously tracking him on a weekly basis? Yeah, monthly basis. Monthly you, basis. You, you, yeah, and you can get results up to a year. Okay. Um, and they're not, they're not guaranteed, um, but, but if all the parameters are in place, then, then, then you should be getting good results. But with all stem cell therapy, the basis is the same. It's these little stem cell warriors going to affected area and exactly. and yeah. creating new yeah. healthy ones. Yeah. Duncan, we're going to have you back on a regular basis. We're going to talk about different ways of using stem cells for various therapies. But basically, for the listeners out there, if you have anything that is hurt in your body, it's worth taking a look at stem cell therapy. So if you guys want to find out more about stem cell therapy, obviously jump on the internet, Google, go crazy. But um, you can also check out the anti-aging clinic, which is in Cape Town, in Seapoint, and Dr. Duncan Carmichael. So formal. <laughs> so, so formal. Um, he is writing a book on it, which will be coming out next year in February. And I'm sure that he'd be happy to take your calls and chat to you. Absolutely, completely. So Brilliant. any questions, anytime, we can be contacted. Fantastic. Do you have an email address that might be good yeah. for them so too? Duncan, D-U-N-C-A-N, at T-A-A-C. Um, I'll try to do the proper thing, the, the Tommy Alpha Alpha Charlie. <laughs> dot co dot ZA. Yeah. Duncan at T A what? T so it's the, the anti-aging clinic. The anti-aging clinic. Yeah. Tango. T Tango, Tango Alpha Alpha Charlie. There we go. Yeah, got it. Did anybody get that? If not, I'll put it on my Facebook <laughs> page. Duncan, thank you for coming in studio. We'll have you back back in studio very, very soon. Completely. The Susanna Kennedy Show on Two Oceans Vibe. It's Kinky Kennedy. The Crazy Caring Cat. Saturdays, 12 until 2. The Susanna Kennedy Show.